This conference will now be recorded. <laughs> You went the bears? Yeah, he went into our garage. Yeah, and ripped open a bike. Of what? Not good. Okay. Yeah. What, like oil or like yeah. food? Oh, yeesh! He didn't die on my property. Was he working his way up to town? Uh -huh. Do you guys have any? Well, the garage would put. Did you have electric fencing? I had. He went to the chicken coop and he sat in by it, but he didn't touch it. <laughs> Because you can hear it zapping. Right. Yeah. But he tore all the bird feeders down. Um, and then he went back by the uh, bees. Well, all the bees are gone. Yeah. But uh, he. Uh, Mike Banner has his bird feeder surrounded by electric wire, too. I do, you have to. You know, I, or you have to take them down. Yeah. Uh, that was an option. I, last night I told him, I said, well, it's going to be 28 degrees. I said, it won't be out in the cold. <laughs> And the mm -hmm. dog started going nuts at 5.15, yeah. mm. but he came at 12.30. Our, yeah. and all the camera shows him there at 12.32. Because our dog went crazy at 6 a.m. Our dog. I got up, turned the light on, he was barking, carrying on. Mm. That's what I would pick it, picked it up by scent, so sometimes he barked after the bear was there, because mm. like the wind would blow <laughs> and come through the window, and he'd be like, there it is! <laughs> All right. All right. We'll call the order of the monitor select board at 9.32 a.m. on April 8th. Um, and we have all three members present here in town hall. Um, it's a fairly short agenda, but the items, each item on it, on the agenda is pretty important. Um, the joint meeting with the finance committee has actually been moved to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, but we do have Jeff here, so thank you, Jeff, for joining us. Um, oh, I didn't pick that up. I've been traveling. I'm sorry. Um, let me just um, check the WPM yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow. I will do my best to be there virtually. Uh, okay. We're, we're still in um, in New York. Um, gotcha. Do you need me there today then, or should I? Because I have another call at 10 o'clock that I need to be on. Uh, if you I want can. to stay until 10? That'd be great if you need me. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be talking about the budget. Okay. Um, and I can join virtually tomorrow? If you got at 7, that would be great. I'll do my best. Yeah, sorry we didn't get that information to you. Well, you may have. It may have just missed. I may have missed it in the flurry of emails. I'm sorry. Gotcha. All right. So the the budget and the warrant. This is Warren up first, right? Yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah. The budget. We're going to discuss the budget. Joint meeting to discuss budget. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's but not the, the joint meeting, but we're still discussing. Yeah. Budget. And the All budget's right, in the warrant. That's fine. really so at this point. So. Um, do we want to do budget first or warrant first? Well, we'll just do budget, we'll go through the warrant and then the okay. budget's in the warrant. So, article one of the of the warrant is, is just listening to reports. Article two is the elected salaries, which I have taken down from the budget worksheet. Um, but if anyone notices that map needs doing, all I did was divide each line by three. If there were select board assessors, board of health, where there's three stipends. Um, uh, why are those little notes of 56.16 per member were yeah. in there? Okay. Um, so now article three is the budget. And I will just go through each section um and deal with any remaining questions so in the 100s just to reiterate we have defunded the select board secretary position but put those funds towards the office assistant wages which i believe were budgeted 14 hours at 22 dollars an hour that's my question i haven't checked it this morning mm -hmm. 
Um, so that was just a decision we made last week. So just bring, calling that out. And then we added 5,000 to assessor's expenses for additional consulting. Um, we added town clerk wages to reflect 15 hours per week plus 100 additional hours. For which one? Town clerk. All right. Yep. So that would be 15 hours a week. Is that right? 14, 15, 14, 15 hours a week. 15. 15 hours a week plus 100. Well, that's 22. plus five hours a week, right? What's that? That's plus five hours a week. Plus two. No. Plus two. 100 divided by 50. Uh, no, uh, what was it? I thought it was at 10 hours. It was at 10 hours. Plus 100. Okay. And we went to 15. We went to 15, 15. hours a week. Right. Plus 100. At 22, right? At 20. 26. 26. 26. 22 yeah. is for the right. support help. Exactly. We took it up. We could always do that math. So I did, I redid the math this morning. I just didn't okay. go to the right numbers right then until we said them. It was. It was 15 hours at 26 plus 100. And we did 52.4 when we multiplied. Yeah. Even though we think it might be 52.2. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because we all rather have the extra point two in there than yeah. have not enough. Okay. So is there anything else in the 100s? There's also. If you if you got with the successful one, right? The okay. IT expenses, it says possible change, but that's 28, yeah, and we're good with that. Okay. This is the actual that's all one time I remember okay. how it's going to appear on the warrants. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, which version? This one? this one, yeah. Yes, they're all up. Who are you looking for? Um, the assessor. Uh, the assessor is, uh, I forget what his hours are. It's by a mark on the board. Generally by by appointment. Um, oh, very okay. yeah. yeah. He's very. If you reach out to his number and email are on the on the website, if you reach out to him, he usually gets back with you Perfect. with like an hour or something. Okay. Like very slow. Very Not at all. Okay. Are we in the two hundred side? Yeah. <laughs> if there's no comments on the one hundred. Also, I've tried this out. We can discuss if we like it or not, but. One difficulty I've had with previous budgets is you get down to the third page and you don't know what each line is. Yes. It's so I added in the headers in each section. So at least you can go up. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, and yeah. the goal, I mean, we're still we'll still vote on the budget as a whole, the five point whatever million, rather than each section like some towns do. Or actually, we'll vote on each line. So that. Well, right. We go down for polls. Yeah. And then we do. Budget, right? yeah. That's how we but go. the way that we do it is we're voting legally on each line, so we can't yeah. spend between lines. Whereas some towns vote on the 5.5 million or right. the 200,000, right. 1 million in each category, and then they can spend within that. But I, I don't foresee any changes to that. So 200s is uh, the police, fire, building animal tree section and the only two that are highlighted there are the compensation and fire hall lease. The, on the fire hall lease I reached out and I talked to Jeff, not Jeff, uh, Kevin, uh, earlier late last week and he was uh, going to reach out to Sean. I explained to him what I put in the budget and why we had a lengthy conversation. Um, I have not heard back from him. Um, I reached out to the treasurer, the accountant, and council regarding the stipend situation yeah, because yeah. the numbers are big and I have not heard back from any yeah. of them. But it's and then there. you saw my email about meeting with the council. I got, I would like to go back home today. I'll confirm that. For, and, and I responded. To yeah, I think again. Thursday. So I'll I think Thursday afternoon. Make okay. sure we get it posted. Um, sounds good. And uh, the other thing we have to talk about is the truck thing, but we can do that at the end because mm -hmm. it's not. On. I mean, I guess it kind of is on the budget. Well, it will show up. Not here, yeah. right? Um, so I'm not. And also, Eileen, um, 
reached out because we I agree with her she wants to see for these the amount of the stipend since the purpose of the stipend is ostensibly to support the people that are responding to daytime calls she felt it was sensible to look at um, how the fire department compensation has been breaking out into the there's the nightly or the overnight right, over pieces right. and then there's the call piece how much are the folks getting paid for that call piece how is that actually breaking out in terms of the numbers and um because if we're saying ten thousand additional dollars to somebody what are they actually already getting from the compensation piece mm -hmm. that's already part of the package and does that make sense and i i think at the very least we need to look at the numbers we may decide it does mm -hmm. but i'd like to actually see the breakout on the numbers myself so we're gonna uh hopefully we'll have those by tomorrow's meeting just to give a little context too i'm hoping to we don't need to but it'd be nice to sign the warrant next tuesday the 16th yep um doesn't need to happen that day. It could happen the following week, but then you start pushing. It. Well, and we can put the numbers in that we have next week. And if one or two numbers change by meeting, we just do it on the floor. It's Absolutely. annoying, but it would neither be the first nor the last time it's happened. So, um, I and I think it's more important to get stuff out sooner than to worry about having a change that's mm -hmm. on the floor. Right. Okay, if there's, is there anything else in the 200s? If not, we'll move on. So in the 300s is schools, not a lot of wiggle room there. But and all those numbers are, are, are up to date, Roger? Yeah, it was from that yeah. last letter we yeah, got from them. Okay. Um, 400 is highway. And the, the extra 5K is in there, right? Yeah. Okay. What That's five K for him. That was the testing for the testing water. Under the, uh, testing the water. And that is so that's in highway operations. So that was actually down a little bit year over year by a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's up four thousand. Right. Year over year. And then his wages, which are simple. Now, one recommendation I've had in light of this overspending of highway overtime and the, the salt and ice. Yeah. Now we're legally allowed to overspend and there's nothing wrong with that. But one recommendation would be, and some, at least one other town does kind of have, have one line that's covers both salt and sand and overtime because then you're much less likely to go into deficit spending. Right, because it gives you more. Yeah, that would be a whole line that's 172,500. My only concern would be if you lower the amount the following year, you cannot deficit spend. And we wouldn't be lowering them out, we would just be combining them, but I would just wanna make sure that that 22,500 going down to zero doesn't look like we're lowering it. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I mean, by combining them into one, what, what if, yeah, I see your point. But if, 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 what if we rewarded it by combining the two names? Yeah. It's so like, it's in one line with the oh. total and we just say it, it, it has the change. That's the change from the total of the two. Yeah. I would just want to make sure that we don't run into any reporting issues next year. If, mm, if we I happen to have to get us at spend. I would just want to get that cleared away, but if you're open to that, we can explore that. I think we should explore yeah. that. Because if we went over and over time this year, it's likely with not a horrible winter, it's likely that we'll go over again. Did we go over this year? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Just got a um, note from the accountant mm -hmm. that we did. And we actually have to probably kind of approve that. So it would be snow and ice, salt and sand combined with winter overtime. Yeah, because but it could they're be. They're calling it snow and ice overtime, but that isn't actually the category we have, right? Are they talking yeah. going over it's winter, winter overtime, overtime or in yeah. snow and ice? No, salt it's winter overtime. Okay. Hi, so I you joined you for snow and ice? Yeah. Jeff was here. Oh, hi, Jeff. Okay. Jeff. Just only one of you can talk. It might make sense if you, you want to go to your 10 o'clock meeting. 
Uh, Eileen is joining us. I made it. Okay. I'm going to go we can't have a finance committee meeting. We can't deliberate. Okay. Thank you all. I'll try to do it tomorrow night, at least by video. See you then. Bye-bye. All right, fine. So, yeah, we, we're over by what? 8,000? 8,000 and change. 8,000 for 471 came out. Winter. 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 This year. And eight seven. I think they have a lot of uh, um, ice Three. events, more ice events and things this year. That's what I was going to say. The, the, we didn't have a ton of snow, but I mm -hmm. think it's high because yeah. when you have, quote, you know, those like 34 to 31 yeah. days. That go, that's when you get black eyes. So yeah. it takes just as much work to pre treat all the roads and be yeah. out there preventing accidents as it does to plow. You yeah. know, run the same roads. And if my recollection is right, we knew that, you know, it would be higher or lower, but we figured we had the ability to handle it. Uh, we do the question we were just discussing was one option Justin raised was combining the two that's lines that are called snow and ice, salt, and sand with winter overtime because with a combined budget, because then yeah. you have more flexibility on where we're spending. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And we I just, agree more. if we're going to do that, we'll just double check that we don't cause any problems if we need to deficit spend next year. Yeah. And there's no special funding for that, right? It's just how we've designated it on the, in our budget. No, there's not, but it's no, particular it's as opposed to all the other accounts because we're allowed to legally overspend. And that, that's spend. what I'm asking, right? Yeah, that's the difference, but there's no funding. Right. So there's we just, we're allowed to definitely spend. However, we, we will have that conversation of how we want to deal with the deficit spending because if you just declare a deficit spending and you don't then cover it with a reserve fund transfer or an right. internal transfer, it gets thrown onto next year's taxes. Right. So what we should probably do is either make a reserve fund transfer, an internal transfer. Um, we just have to wait, wait to do the internal transfer till next year. Yeah. You know, we have not done one reserve transfer so far this year. Well, and that's why maybe it makes a lot of sense so we to have take 8,000 from the reserve that's, fund. That's what I'm And saying. then it won't get tacked on next year's tax rate. But we're just going to have to run it by Eric and make sure that this is the right way to do everything so that it doesn't go into next year's taxes. Right. Yeah, and which I think is definitely That's the right. desire more. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't, uh, look, just, yeah. I don't think we're looking, based on you know the way Roger was keeping accounting before, I don't think we're looking at any major what happened last year flurry of, oh, we didn't put this in our budget expenses. So we feel a little better about that or did up until... You know, well, I, mean, and <laughs> I, from I think that it's predictable that this happens. That's why you're yeah, allowed to overspend exactly. it, right? right? So, you know, it seems like the, the various options we have are all okay. Like waiting till May, since it's legal to overspend it, waiting to May and transferring from the snow and ice, salt and sand is yeah. one option. I thought about that, but my, here's my only concern with that. It makes a lot of sense, but if next year it looks on our town meeting warrant, like this FY24 revisions, we took 150,000 and transferred out 8,000. Mm -hmm. I don't right. want it to appear in any way like we have gone down. We have spend less in those accounts. Okay, I see your point. Now, it may, I think we should be able to do it. We should just check with error. But the problem with those accounts is if you ever budget less, then you then you give up your ability to always to, to deficit spend for right. that year. Budget. Oh, you're Which we're not doing. I, just well, I know. I was like, we're not doing so, that. Um, but so reserve fund up. makes more sense, is what you're saying, because it just keeps that off yeah. the table. Okay. Unless we run, unless there's other valid reasons. Right. And we talk to Eric. Okay. I know we're going line by line, but just some of that is when we do the finance committee briefing, we will do specifically what's we'll called by snow and ice. Mm -hmm. So we can expect that's a form where we can actually explain this more if someone helps me write it or explain it. Well, which which also makes brings me to. Melissa did mention that she used a single letter out with the water. Yeah. I think it's a good idea I, I think because that goes to everybody who gets the warrant. Not everybody reads the Monterey News, even though we've been prepping for yes. the news. And even though you are running that, not everybody comes. Well, but everybody year, will read the letter. Last year, I helped to write the letter. Oh, okay. So it kind of reflected some of the things we hit. And um, then it had the link, I believe, to the um, 
the stuff we created for the finance committee okay. briefing so they could see the chart. Well, maybe we'll, the slide board will write its own letter. I, think uh, I mean, I think well, we could do the slide board or we could do a joint letter. Yeah. Or Eileen could work with Roger and then we could edit we'll it. I mean, it. Right. let's come up with a plan so it can go out with a warrant. We yeah. would be in like two I just weeks, right? Roger, we'll sign I, next I, week. I no, we would sign it next week, yeah. but then we have to make copy. It has to be copied. Okay. But that could happen as soon as the next morning. Someone can write yeah. it. Oh, draft. gotcha. So it's yeah. by next week. So we got to draft it this I week. I can draft yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and then and we should put in like snow and ice and anything else. Well, that... only if, if snow and ice stays the exact same, mm -hmm. it's not worth mentioning. If we combine them, we'll Right, that's what I mean. Right. And um, oh, wait, I sent Roger dates. I don't know if he spoke to all of you about the dates for what? Budget briefing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and making see if you can make it. He should invite Sean if Sean wants to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, so and I put out a, a tentative agenda that was about a week ago. I'm not usually so on it. So. <laughs> well, basically, I would think of adding in the letter things that we've talked about. So like the select board secretary, office assistant, town clerk. Yes. Um, someone else might do something about the fire. I can't. Right. Um, uh, what, what, what? Where are we? I'm just starring things that might get that's, mentioned. That's exactly what I'm asking you to do. Thank you, Justin. Um, that's my point. So, is there anything else in the 400s? No, doesn't look like it. 500s is health, counts on aging, veterans. I don't think that there's anything here. No, I don't think we had any uh, action. Uh, culture and recreation, 600. Don't think that there's anything here. Seven hundred is debt service. Okay. So I think, based on the ordering schedule and estimates, we could probably keep. Well, we probably want some money in the budget to pay interest Definitely. if we do get the vehicle before November. Definitely. What I would do, what I would suggest, though, is it's kind of nice for all these amounts that we know what the interest is going to be, how we have the interest and principal separated. But for this one, it's not because we don't know what the interest is going to be because we don't know what rate we're going to get, how long the loan is going to be. Or what the actual or amount. what the amount is. <laughs> Just so, what so, I would I amount, <laughs> so what I would do is just do 700 medical rescue vehicle, which we'll rename as um, brush. Brush. Oh, brush. Right. Brush. I think he's proposing multi-purpose rescue and support vehicle. That was what a sexy name. I know. Right. That, that, well, that was Rogers then, but that uh, wasn't Sean. Yeah. I, was that you oh, or yeah. Sharp? No, what no, did you call it? Rescue, rescue and support. That, that's what I suggested. Sean, why don't we just call it rescue and support? Because Sean gave us wording that's pretty clear. I can read it out. Um, it, we don't have to, but I think it makes sense. Um, where is it? Oh, this is all slightly older. I know. Right. That I, I have. have you're, were you looking at the email? I have a warrant. Drafted. I have an article drafted up, yeah. and how it reads is um, to see if the town will change the wording passed in Article 18 of Annual Town Meeting from what do you say to to purchase equip and outfit a quick response vehicle for medical emergencies and brush fires, and to trade in or sell at auction the current Med Nine and brush truck. Well, a quick, quick response, response vehicle. vehicle. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Well, they're all quick response vehicles. But that's not the main <laughs> yeah, but highway medical medical and brush. Yeah. I think I think it should say medical and brush. Quick. All right. Whatever. I'm sorry I missed yeah. the fire department conversation. So we we'll on. I we had other business to do first. Well. We had actually had that. So we're in we're in debt service. Yeah. Is everyone okay with combining principal and interest that way? If we have two thousand dollars in principal, we can put the rest towards interest. If we have five thousand in yes. principal, that's longer right. interest. So, so, um, so with that, we're, are we changing it from medical rescue vehicle, first of all? Yes. What's going to appear is the wording on that line. I think it should really just be medical rescue and brush fire vehicle, because that's okay. the purpose Fine. of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't love this wording because, like, highway truck, we have seven highway trucks. Who knows which highway truck we it is? We put one, two. Can we do that? Yeah, the problem is if you put the brand name, 
No, you can't do that. We, we, we number them. them. We number we, them. We, we could because we own it. Put the right. put the brand name, but. Not the brand name is problematic. Exactly. There's a future, yeah, we got in trouble with we, the brand yeah, name. Yeah, there's a future yeah. problem. But That's giving it a number, like, you know, the Rush vehicle's number 12, I made yeah. it up, obviously. Then when you're getting rid of 12 and you're buying a new 12, yeah. right? You know, we'll or 13. About, right? So but. what I'll propose, though, is this line will be a little different. It will be 5000 for principal and interest, but we'll leave it in. Assuming that hopefully it gets ordered immediately after Maytown meeting and we get it before November. And what do we want to put in for the amount? Five thousand. So we're just going to keep it as basically an interest placeholder because we're we don't are, are we we don't know the amount. Do we want to set aside any? Assuming we get it this year, it wouldn't be my November. But it, it could be. He said it could be two months to two years, which means we don't know how long. It, it might make more sense. The five thousand wouldn't hurt because if we get it in June, that can pay off your interest right. in November. And then we don't have to pay any principal. We don't but have to. We to, like to. But not knowing if we're gonna get it, maybe how we much it reroute that principal money to either the one hundred sixty thousand coming out of stabilization. Or to the other two vehicles and cut a year off of each of the other vehicles. That works. The tandem axle. So, and the, so we so have reroute money the money to the right. other ones to pay down their debt. So we do so have to pay the, the principal down. We have it for that. I like it. Yeah, yeah I like it. Too. Either, either option. This is why we. I have to say, we're, we're, yeah. So if we look I'm, at this sheet <laughs> here no, and just that. get rid of the medical rescue vehicle payment, but change the highway international truck to three more years and the tandem axle to two more years so how much was the amount we had put aside for that particular principal payment which one the, in the additional principal payments i know we have a 29 of it. 29 of it was going to be for med rescue no yeah 29 is that correct uh, uh, did, you, did you break those out somewhere yeah, we have yeah. yeah. 25 for the last for the principal 25.8. So if we get rid of the 25.8, but lower a year each on the tandem axle and the highway truck. Apply to each tandem and axle. And those are both uh, to change that timing though. You have to vote on that. Yeah. To, to change which so what vehicle we're going to be like. No, the change you said you're at add plus three on. No, we don't no. because all we're doing is applying more. Oh, I get you. We're yeah. not saying it's worth yes. a different number of years. Like so, like right. yeah. And if it's coming out of stabilization, it's just a different line in the warrant? or has It's that... not coming out of stabilization. Oh, it's not. Yeah, right. That's just what we keep There's a here. separate article. So we have a warrant. It is a separate article. Warrant. So yeah. that would be so that's what I'm asking. It's a separate article. On the following page. But I think, I'm thinking about it now, thinking we like to pay principal on things. We do. But not knowing if we're going to receive it, having thirty thousand dollars in limbo potentially for over a year, why don't we actually take that money and actually pay down principal that we know exists? I think that's right. So that would be. I like it. So how do we want to do that? Was like evenly. And that's something I. Well, what it would be is right the minimum payments as stated, but then an additional thirty-nine thousand for the highway international truck. So if you go down to additional principal pay down. Mm -hmm. It would be item one would be the highway truck and, and that new number is thirty nine thousand five twenty three twenty and that gets that vehicle paid off in three years including this year so two more years at that rate and then it would be zero for the medical rescue vehicle that that vehicle wouldn't even be mentioned on here okay right and then the tandem axle dump truck would okay. be twenty four one forty nine and that would make it at that rate one more year after this year. Are we doing away with the 65? You just said 24, 149. I don't care. 98. 98. And then that, and then it would pay off one more year after that? Right. The 24 and the 10 is 25,000. Good. And then that total amount would be, really instead change. of the 92,259, my computer's frozen. Like, Thirty-nine five two three twenty plus 
49.98 plus 29.050.00 is 92.723.8. 92723. Barely changes. That's beautiful. Well, you come up? yeah, it goes up 500 bucks. Right. That's, That's not that okay. Well, on a 7% budget, 500 bucks might matter. I don't well, know. Well, I have ideas about that. And Justin, that is the type of no, thing. This is coming out of free cash. Point. You Just. can't, but it's still the concept of the priority of what we're paying for. And I would talk about that in your budget letter. Yeah. I have yeah. paid down the trucks faster. Sadly, yeah. we're right. having less debt for the town because that's been a big. Thing that this select board and finance pretty have agreed on together instead of what we've done before, what we inherited, the pushing, pushing, pushing. Right? Um, I think so. That's one option. Another option is to take that 25,800 and don't increase the payments on the highway truck and the tandem axle and go to the article on the next page, the top of the very next page that says 30,000 from free cash and 160,000 from stabilization. And we could drop that 160,000 from stabilization to Wait, 135. Right there. Oh, okay. Because uh, we're at what about- What are the numbers we to what? I, I'm feeling compelled to write notes. Yeah, it would drop to 135 from stabilization. Which I think would also not be a bad choice because our stabilization account, if my computer will work, is about six sixty-five. So taking a hundred and sixty five or six hundred and six hundred and sixty-five thousand. Okay. So a hundred and sixty out of that brings us down to almost five hundred thousand. Yeah. A hundred and thirty-five. And when was the last time we added the stabilization? <laughs> We added but last year. Didn't we just we moved money. Oh, we moved yeah. money. We didn't. Uh, so, oh, yeah. that I think is also not a bad option. The other thing is our remaining free cash balance is thirty, about thirty-three thousand, thirty-two thousand. So we could even do another five, bump that all the way down to a hundred and a hundred and thirty thousand from stabilization, sixty thousand from free cash. And and do we have a plan in the long run for stabilization, or we'll still just stockpiling it for funding long term projects? And well, we're not so good fiscal health. We're not really <laughs> stockpiling it. It's like a savings. Right. Well, that's right. We have some bigger expenses. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. We do know what how how much what do we know about the big expenses like the culverts? Well, one well oh. the culverts a conversation for tomorrow, oh. which. The, the costs and size we're talking about that to the town is about triple or quadruple. I know. That's why. That's why I'm asking the question now when we're making the decision. Yeah. I'm also wondering, like, I, I'm even second guessing. Oh, do we really need to do it if the current okay. call? I think solid. that's where we're at. I'm not sure what the numbers are like. That. Do we really need to do this? It's, I know. There's no structural issue with it at all right now. The issue is a generational flood in the future. Yeah. So one easy out for now, for this year, is to just apply for the MVP phase three next year. Yeah. Because there's also more and more funding. Who knows whatever is going to actually happen with the funding. But one thing you should know is everyone's MVP match was 20% and ours was 10% because we met certain requirements for rural poverty. And and they actually dropped everyone's match to ten percent to twenty percent. So there is more funding going around. Plus, they're talking about changing the cap. Really? Yes, yeah. that was in the thing to a hundred to from wait to hundred million from three million. Wait, wait, what? The cap might go. Okay, that's, that's a hell of yeah. a change that's from that's three million. That's the question now. They were putting a hundred. Putting 100 million into the overall budget, which would have increased the, the bottom of the, the caps for everybody. For everybody. Like, I, don't, I don't think we're going to have 100 million. I think it was going to be four million. 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 Okay. But still, no, four million is quite okay. um, an extra million dollars. So, does everyone, does anyone have an opinion on should we pay down those oh trucks faster? or? I'm going to say I think we should pay less than stabilization. I'm putting I, that I out there. Yeah. I, I think we should. Because we're, we're not being. We we're still being conservative about paying it off early, but okay. I'm nervous about like given this budget year and last budget year, we're not putting more money into stabilization. I hate to just keep drawing that down. Yeah. It's like kicking it forward a different way. 
I, I know I keep on thinking back to a big issue when you're discussing small issues, but I think they're all tied together. I am still nervous about certain payments in this budget that we're going to be saddled with, like the thirty thousand on milk oil. Okay, Eileen. Wait, 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 let me finish. I understand, three. but let me finish yeah. my point, Justin, because it's connected. Now I lost it. So, the, so I think that I kind of like the idea of taking less out of stabilization because I'd like to force more of a crisis in thinking about the 7% increase and what we're actually spending money on. So I'd like it to be more kind of urgent about what kind of decisions we make. What, do we go to mill foil? Are we giving another 60000 to the fire department? Like we're just throwing money around. And I like this position that we've been doing about long-term stability, long-term planning. So that's why I'm saying they are tied together. And I, I think that you know, if we are taking more out, less out of stabilization and more out of free cash, that we really might want to go back to all the departments and say, if you had a cut, 10%, where would you cut it? Where would you cut it to? On the rate? Well, we're hoping to sign the warrant next week. I know. So we do have to talk about concrete. I know, details. but you understand what I'm saying? Like, what I'm saying is yes to what you're saying, yeah. but maybe there's another answer also to. If, if we're running out of free cash, or if that's the end of our free cash, or if there are other things, are we solid on the 7%? All of you are saying one on that? Well, but all of these discussions is unrelated to 7%. Because it's soft. It is. Okay. I don't think, I think you're it yeah, is, and here's why. Because we're not using, it's not operating budget, it's free cash. And us could, could go to lower than rate. It could. Yeah, we all agree we're not doing Yeah, I know, but I'm not saying we should. What? We did it. My opinion was a mistake to do it a few years ago. Yes, yes. But I, all right, I'm just, okay, I'm sorry. If we were doing that, you'd be right. I, it's not about lowering that, it's about keeping the tax rate lower than it is. That's okay. okay. So, what I'm going to do, because I'm hearing a general consensus, is what we're going to do is, is go to 700 debt service. Yes. We're going to keep the 5,000 for the medical rescue and brush fire vehicle. Um, just in case we receive it before November. Yes. And we're just going to. Did you say seven or five? It's five. 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 Okay. I think For some reason I thought you said seven. Um, but we're going to call it principal and interest because that way, if the interest is only two thousand or three thousand, we can put two thousand for principal, just so that we're not stuck with the money doing nothing. Um, relatedly, in the article that's the second one after the revolving fund on the next page, that goes through all the free cash payment towards debt service. We're just going to delete medical rescue vehicle because we're completely unsure about when we're receiving it. The vehicle, med, uh, line 700 medical rescue vehicle principal. Yeah. Well, but the yes. additional free cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just delete it because it would be nice if we knew we're getting it in June to make a decent principal payment on it, but we don't know. It right. could be a year or two. We're going to keep the principal pay downs the same, but then on the following page, when we're buying the $190,000 truck, we'll we'll take 30,000, we'll take 60,000 from free cash. So we're up to 60, and that's a, and which is an extra five, which is five. Okay. Yeah. yeah I think that's so we'll put us in the 20,000s of free cash right away in the low 30s. Okay. But. And give us more space. And then, and then the general stage relation comes to 130. It comes to 130. I think that is a lot better. Um, yeah. Given our 665 to only take 130 from it, which is still a lot taken from it. Stabilization. I think I think it's good to take it. We need to. That's otherwise it looks like we are stuck. <laughs> um, if that. Is agreeable to everybody that kind of handles debt. I do have one thing that is, uh, oh, that's debt. I just wanted to, we were done with that. Well, yeah, so then we can move on to 900 miscellaneous. Yes. Health insurance is uh, um, highlighted. Yeah, and I, did you have a chance? I didn't. That's that? that's why I printed this little sheet out, which was off of the, uh, which is off of the bill. Yep. The, um, so I spent some time actually looking at the at the health insurance page, and I could not reproduce that. <laughs> so this because so, I, I know Justin, you were just like you, you weren't going to the actual tab and making adjustments; you were just yeah. popping it in yeah. there. So I think that's what Susie's wondering is 
how did the how did how, how did does, get that number and is it accurate? The how hundred tell it is, yeah, yeah. Re relative to the budget yeah. Yeah, to the tab. That's all. That's so exactly. what does this say? And there are no open positions, right? Yeah. Apparently. Well, there's change? no office assistant. I don't think so. We have the office assistant. So okay. that's, 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 that's under that would be yeah, that, that, that would have that's under twenty right. dollars. Right, right, right. That's my question. There's no open position that we get. So for one thing we know, right, couples plan included Melissa and you said you were going to a single plan. Single plan, right? yeah, yeah. So we know that the number of employees on couples plans would go to one and the number on singles plans would go to four. I put that in filled in about yes. the same number. Well, I don't know. You about would have rest. never gotten the number I got because because that was the number Melissa produced when we asked to get all the employees and add a single plan as a cushion. It okay. didn't take into account the turnover right. since. Right, but the normally when she produces a number, mm -hmm. it's reproducible on her pages, and this is what's off of that page. So and how different is the number? So what was the number on that page? Currently, yeah. FY25 costs down to 202,650. Well, that's, but why does it say FY24 budget 137? Because that's this because year. Because that's this year. That's, so if you look if you look at the 900, it says one, uh, the 900 series on the, on the budget worksheet. It says 137, which is line 914. It says 137,596, which is the current FY24 budget on the, right. the, the sheet. So that's this fiscal year. And the, the number we have in for FY25 is 156,305. But yeah. so, so, so when I went to the which health, tab is it? Uh, it's health health it's way over. Way, so it's way the very last. So, yeah. so technically, what, what, what this, what, if I understand it correctly, what, whatever the sheet should say, there should be five single plans. One is a cushion mm -hmm. with uh, one current employee, spouse. So five is a cushion. Oh no, there is a cushion in there. Where is the cushion? It says it says it uh, uh, so on this on the sheet it's the third line. So it says current employees, which in our case would oh, be cushion. four. Oh, gotcha. So there'd be one current change. there'd be one current employee spouse, which is that one, and then a cushion of one. Right. The couples would go to one. The family plan is six. So I don't know what that means. So the couple would get it's six. Cut, Why is it six? The couple gets in half, cut in half by thirty thousand, right? Um, right? Who is is that right? Six? Because I show five on my over. This this one shows six. This was the most recent one. I just took it off the uh, Okay. So the couples goes to fifteen oh six to twenty nine and the singles you currently have three divided by twenty seven, so it's an extra one, an extra seven. Thousand. Is that what you're so that brings the cost to 194 seven. No, no, that is wrong because mm -hmm. I think we're off about a quarter and a quarter like 25 grand. No, like a quarter per a quarter, uh, 25 percent. Okay, uh, I don't know if that number takes into account that the town's only responsible for 75 percent of most of these plans. It should the way it's I don't well, think it does. Look at I think that's what it says. says. But why? I don't still trust it. So, all yeah, right, so the formula says because no, but if you take 75% of that number, you come up really darn close to the number that we were given. But it's the 28. So, so there's so is it the overall premium, right? So, like for the current, it, it does the, the formula. Is seven, the current premium is 796 and 75% of 597. Yeah, so I think that's what it's time for three employees four, per month, seven. but it's four employees now. It, but the point is, it it's on the worksheet. Yeah. Right. 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 I don't know. All right. Let me, let me just explain this. Yeah. So the way she has it set up on here is the premium that's per month, right? Uh, and then what the town pays percentage wise, and then the town premium per month is the premium times the percent the town pays, and then she multiplies that by 12. the number of employees, yes. right? Times the amount per month. Times twelve. Well, wait, you can't do that because each employee pays. No, no, so it's, 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 no, it's, they it's, don't. They say pay the same percent. I just have, pay a, the same percent. I have a concern. Why are we fifty thousand dollars off? That's my question, right there. I, I, because I did this and I couldn't get the so, right number. This, this was so I, I, I the point of the I, words. I, I, I don't know where that original number came. From. Yes, me neither. I know where it came from. She I got it, but we don't know how. Oh, okay. All right. 
So yeah, no, but you don't know how much you calculate. No, but so. why are we fifty thousand dollars off? And the answer may be that the number the people entered in here are no longer accurate. And she well, thinks that without changing this page. That's my well, only why do we why did we get by this year? If we're gonna get by, maybe we're not on 137,596. And if there's only a two point from my is the percentage but difference? here's the thing, two, two point two point five two, but we're changing also the plan, so you can't just apply the 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 Thing, so. Well, I mean, all, all you're really doing is you're taking her premium. If you look at the, if you look at the sheet, it's just simple math across the sheet, yeah, right? It's it is 796.95 times 0.75 equals 597 dollars and 71 cents times four times 12. Yeah, and that gets you whatever number that is for for current employees that first line, right? Yeah, and then one current employee spouse, and then a cushion. Yeah, yeah. and then the but family plan says six, and then there's only four employees listed. Yeah, so what, right. It, this was my point. That was the part. Is I feel like I'm not I sure that the number is going to be. You know what? Let, let me call up Maya. They're the health people, right? Right. And see and what see I can get, get from them. Correct. For, counts of what we actually for, have. For what number counts. do you have that you figured, children? Two hundred thousand. I think one ninety four seven sixty eight. That's exact. <laughs> Look, exactly. So this is the question. Yeah. The only thing that would make this wrong would be that the number of people. In the plans is not what's here. That Correct. is what would change these numbers. And so Roger checking. Check. This was right. exactly or what the premiums right. being wrong. Or the premiums being wrong. One or some right. number but is wrong, but I think the wrong. most likely scenario is that the people not are wrong. wrong. I agree with you. But that's exactly the three. One number four. Okay. Um but that's a lot more than yes, what's in that's there. A problem. Which is why I would have no oh, we have 40 40 50. Right. <laughs> right, because she changed the line to that number I took when we were told this is what all the current employees would cost plus a single plan is a cushion. Yeah. That's the number. But that's where I got the number. But that sixth number is a question because you're, you're right, Susan. There's only four little initials that uh -huh. reports us of initials. So why yep. is it six? So yeah. so I think what's really needed is you gotta to talk to Maya, but you have yeah. to figure out who is using yeah. health insurance. And what I, and I think plan I on. think that six was when you added in the fire department that you might have taken out the number. That's what it is. Oh, that's right. right. That's what it is. That's all it is. Yeah. But that's also okay. 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 I'm, I'm going for No, it. but yeah. I know that's what it is. So it's when there's right. two people. So I think it's one ninety I think it's that number, one nineties. No, except no, but if we're not that doing would be, those, give me one second to get to the stupid no, number. Thirty nine. Four. One forty eight fourteen. 148-414-65. That because that would be changing her to from the couple to the single. Yeah. And also, as well as bringing. So what are you saying that last number is? Two. That makes a lot of sense. One four eight four one four point six five. No, the number for the family plan instead of one thirty nine should be. Uh, oh, one thirty nine. Yeah, right? instead of four, instead of six. Oh, it's just for the family plan, it's ninety two seven zero seven ninety three. Ninety two seven zero seven. So that explains your company cap. Mm -hmm. So okay. what was the, your last number? 148. 148.414.65. Yeah. Okay. And so that is kind of our current employees plus a cushion of a single plan? Yes. Yes. Now, what is this one current employee spouse? 50% covered? I'm 61 years old in 2024. Maybe there's some, I'll have to ask about that. Maybe there's some. I'm going to assume it's right. Yeah. I just am curious. So. We're gonna go with 148, 4, 14, 65. Right, that's a nice decrease. Thank you, Roger. But also, <laughs> I know that was really painful, but thank you. At least I was right that the number was wrong, and I didn't. And at least that yeah. time I got it, it was changing the spreadsheet. Well, well, I noticed it on. Uh, there was that. There was actually another. 148, 414. Well, here's something. Yeah, take that. Yeah. But, but I'll but I'll call them up today and verify the uh, I'll verify the the, number the dollars goes. of the actual premium um, for each plan the percentages on the premium because there's that one that's fifty percent yeah and then um, the, the number of employees and everything and, and who they are because how so we have in theory eligible but basically. So, so. Oh, well, but I'm seeing. In more theory, we have ten employees who are eligible for health insurance. Yeah, I think so too. 
And so how many plans is that without the without the question? Thirteen. Is this number in the budget for Three, five, Oh, well, don't, no, count don't count as Don't count as No, it's 10. Five. So if you go four, yeah, plus it is four, 10. It is 10. It's yeah. 10. Because you don't count the spouse. Oh, okay. And that goes to you, my God. It's 11. Wait, I got um, 10. We petitioned it. No, oh, no, no, no. This didn't count. You're right. You're right. One is right. right. 10 for that. Yeah, so it's so. Uh, so, so, so currently, everyone eligible for health insurance currently enrolled in health insurance? It doesn't necessarily. But I thought that we had. No, there was a there's a note. Um, yeah. If employees not because there was a note off the side that I put down at the bottom of the sheet mm -hmm. that said employees not currently enrolled one highway couple. But those things have changed, right? We've had turnover and highway. Right. And so police. let's go back to yeah. the plan where you call, you call and, and actually check and say, whatever oh, and, and whatever, whatever is right <laughs> is right. right. Well, no, but there's more than that. So well, there's Maya, but then there's also well, we, yeah. we believe that there's ten employees eligible for health insurance. Yes, right. get a yeah. yeah, but Maya may not know that we have. An employee who's not on it, if they're not on it. Well, that would be that if that, they're not on it, and this is only the people on it, right. then we would be we have a letter. Well, but, but what I'm asking, what I'm asking is, let's Don't nail down, down that we have ten eligible. And well, let's well, also nail down who's currently yeah. currently. Pardon? What's there? Here, so one hundred fifty-six thousand three hundred. Oh, one hundred fifty-six. Okay, I'm on the revision. Sorry. So we're close. That's going to keep up with one thing. Yeah. So you'll get the specifics in now. Oh, I thought it's down to 6.84. Um, I like it. <laughs> you know that important. All right. Are there any other things that we want to go back to in the budget? Fire department. I know we missed the conversation. Mm -hmm. we, uh, talk about the we're service. waiting for an update. I, I have reached out to the treasury the account and the council, but I don't have any answers. Right, and I also reached out to get the numbers, but I think I know it's far down the road, and I tried to get to Frank over the weekend and all that. But like the fire department thing is like quicksand, right? Like you know, it's we want stipends, we want this, the trees, the fit. I think if we are giving that, I'm really uncomfortable. I did not talk to Jeff about it offline when I'm having a meeting for Wednesday, but I'm really uncomfortable with those proposed sixty thousand dollars stipends. Very, very uncomfortable. So um, that's an enormous amount of money compared to what we pay our other employees, and it's a huge hit in the budget. And I think that if we're going to do that, we need to talk about overnight. I forgot, like I don't even know, like we haven't, we've told everyone to do base uh, zero base budget, and we haven't really done that for fire department because I don't know if we need overnight coverage anymore. But now we're paying this, ex, you know, this extra thing. I think we're paying for okay. overnight coverage. Well, well, you're yeah, paying for overnight office. coverage. Part of the problem is. Is that the volunteers live farther away? So if you have overnight coverage, you can send a truck out and they can drive. Some of the volunteers are coming from Sansafield, Housatonic, other places. It's not like it's a cool group in town. It's not the same people. One it's, is for daytime there is, coverage. There is, is no, there is a real labor shortage. No, I understand that, but are they going to different people? Yeah. Oh, they, they, he spends a good amount of time. Recruiting and promoting. I understand, but the, the yes. people that are doing overnight coverage are people that don't live in town. Only. Ooh, I don't know about that. That's about my question. It's a mixture. But it's a mixture. I think one 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 I understand, and I have, but Susan, I have no problem with the daytime, I understand. But I'm going to get the You've numbers. inquired about the numbers. But it, so we look, can look but it looks like out, if so. we're paying them and we're using the stipend, we're paying almost $250 per person yeah. per call. Which is, I yeah, understand sure. that's a priority because of the labor shortage. What I'm questioning is if we, should we also be paying for people that live in town then to sleep overnight? The the per person Could we pay for the, we pay per fire and then we're adding on that stipend would be another, I did it on the hours, 80 calls divided by the 10,000 or 10,000 of the 20 or 25 is about. I'm not sure. We're, we should uh, offline. You and I would have a conversation. Okay. Okay. I don't know that I agree with your calculation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're going to root. <laughs> I'm willing to listen to how you did it, but the, it's okay. still important to be accurate. Okay. So we're going to get information and we're going to decide that tomorrow night? Well, hopefully we'll get the information. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. Posted on um, did we adjust the numbers on the warrant for the changes to stabilization, et cetera? Is this the that ones that we just made? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, I just want to make sure yeah. that gets done. No, that yeah. Um. So if you get past the operating budget, 
the next article is the revolving fund limits, which are all. Does stabilization, where does stabilization appear on here? There's no, the, ta the total we have here doesn't appear on here. No. Right. Okay. No. All right. Do you um, have the ARPA funds? That that's fine. Right. Where else are we then? So Operate. just after the operating budget, the revolving oh. funds. Uh, if anyone knows anything on that, I did not. This doesn't really change, right? No, not no, usually. I don't um, think so. To see if the town. Well, the signs is new. Yeah, I mean, four of these, five of these are new in the past couple of years. And that's been that's the right number. We think from this, that's what they were. I pulled them all from the annual town meeting from the town meeting warrants where they were approved. No, 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 but I'm wondering if that's what we're spending exactly on it since it's a new item. She's asking if the spending limit right. on the sign Size is adequate. Right, given that we now have experience with it, we didn't when we did. Well, what well, on the signs? On the signs, you mean? On the, yeah, for yeah. For the uh, um, sign on one sign. Uh, they haven't even put money in, as far as I know yet. Yeah. Well, that's what I was asking. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, which, which we hope we don't have. And it's going to show up in the warrant as the article after the fire depart fire truck or not? Yeah, I think so. Oh, so it'll be like article five. Can I can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Put it above the fire truck. Let, Why? Them, let them change the wording before they deal with a million dollars. I like that. Um. I, I mean, I just think it's not it won't be I like potentiated. It. I to change the wording, but the other one might be, and I, I don't want them to mess with that one vehicle yeah. for its stupid reason. Okay, the next article to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 60000 or any other sum from free cash and 130000 or any other sum from the general stabilization fund to purchase an outfit, a plow truck for the highway department, and to trade in or sell at auction in 2016 at 550. Requires a two third vote. Next article, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 95000 or any other sum of free cash and purchase an outfit a one-ton truck for the highway department to trade in or sell at auction of 2018 Chevrolet one-ton pickup truck. Uh, the next article, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 70122 or any other sum from free cash to pay for the town's annual assessment to the Southern Berkshire Volunteer Ambulance. To see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 30000 or any other sum from free cash to be deposited in the stabilization fund for the retiree health and life insurance. To see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 70906 or any other sum from the stabilization fund for the retiree health and life insurance to the retiree group health life insurance. Benefit. So I noticed that um, this number is different than on the worksheet. Which one? The, the retiree the, health? 17, that, uh, 17,906. 17,906. So if I understood this right, so if you look at this sheet here, I could have chosen on this sheet, but not yeah. on the warrant. Um, page four. The the first the first item is the thirty thousand dollars, which is for the previous article for the retiree health life insurance. Mm -hmm. So that's last year's number. Right, but no, but the requested number underneath that, if I got it, if, if I'm looking at them. Right. Yeah, it looks like it's the deep. number on here is for the FY24. Yeah. Yeah. So it just needs to be 18635 Yeah, so it should be a good tax. Oh, I wasn't certain which, oh, you're right, there is 1796 yeah. So that should be 18. You were 100% right. You just, <laughs> I just had the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just had the wrong thing. But you found it. Good tax, all right, yeah. 18635 um, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $3,000 or any other sum from free cash to make a contribution to the local cultural council. To see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $30,000 or any other sum from free cash to pay for the non-chemical control of the invasive aquatic Eurasian water milfoil and the hiring of lake scientists to help determine the abundance and distribution of Eurasian water milfoil in Lake Berkeley. Um, so I'm going to ask that we consider adding a warrant article. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, for the <laughs> boys. Um, I. I wrote some wording for it, but mm -hmm. basically I want to put the idea of the fall STM yeah. on there. I have approved wording. Too. Oh, okay, cool. Well, well, what was your plan? Um, the, we've talked about it before. It's basically non-binding, but I want the town to vote on the idea of a November, first Saturday, November STM every year. Because oh, we yeah. never, these big things, yeah. changes to buying mm -hmm. laws and zoning bylaws, mm -hmm. Always get short shrifted yep. yeah. you know, because the meeting is too goddamn long. Yeah, and if people know, like I basically the reason to do it, we can call it anytime we want to. But the yeah. reason to do it is everyone says, "Well, an SDM, nobody says that." Mm -hmm. So I want people to to just recognize that there isn't time for adequate discussion. That should be your memo. And, and so your, your, your idea <laughs> overall is to take like bylaw changes, things like that. And, well, we and had a bylaw put, made. Did they ever do always put it We're working on it. Right. And in this case, like for sure, this fall we know it's going to be those bylaw changes and maybe a couple. But why would things. you put it there? So because it, wait, actually, this isn't a final estimate issue. issue. I'm it's sorry. a sorry. issue. Sorry. But no, I'm so the, the approved board is special town meeting shall be held on the first Saturday in November, except if the select board determines that no meeting is necessary. I think okay. that's the cleanest best. That that works for right. me. There's other ways to do it. There's two right there, but they're and key. do we want to put non-binding or do we just let? Well, except if the two. So, okay, that's fine. Right. Um, why do we want to 
put it on the warrant, you don't have to make it. We could just make a habit out of calling it in November, but I think this is more likely to make it happen. Oh, oh no, you're saying it's not for this, it's not with the Lake Garfield. No, nope. correct. Oh, okay. Not like, why are you Garfield. putting it on Lake Garfield? I wanted you to put it before. I agree, and it should be your memo. I go back to so, it. Yes, I agree. That's a very good point. Lake Garfield is just moving down the warrant. Oh, I'll add that in. It's really hard with no numbers. <laughs> yeah. The fourth from the bottom. Uh, Blake Garfield is this thing. The fourth. Uh, four. the, the special act. So it would go. What I'm suggesting is oh, between the Eurasia nail foil and the Lake Garfield. Yep, yep, Why in the, the, Yeah. Just yep. look. Yep. That's just a slide. Yeah, I'm just curious. Don't that's just, it anywhere. It's just, that's just a slide. Once we go into the Lake Garfield thing, it's like. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Everyone will leave. We could put it earlier. I don't that's care. Fair. I just don't want it. Like, well, no, I think it's an important thing that you're saying. Oh. So that's why I'm saying. I, you know, we could. It, that would put it right after all the. I'm a town member, not a finance committee. I member. understand. I appreciate that earlier. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the next couple things really aren't aren't finance committee things. It's like work things, but the recall. I don't have any changes. The Lake Garfield in section seven. Section um, seven. Part A. There were a couple times that registered voters were were mentioned, and really, if you're keeping consistency with the rest of the document, it's just propri proprietors of the district. So I just deleted a couple times that registered voters residing in the district to proprietors of the district. Okay, so this one's so that's what we're for. So the recall one. That's right. so, okay, so there's a recall. That's Section right. seven. I was looking for like what? I was just trying to find where you. I'll just show you right here. What's with that tax district? There's nothing we have to do with Concord? Okay. I, I believe you that it would have What happened to the Lake Garfield tax district? That's a warrant. It's a warrant. I know it's, it's right here. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I thought that was all. That's so, great. That after the warrant, there's a few, or after the Lake Garfield tax district, there's to see if the town will vote pursuant to general law chapter 268a section 21a to authorize commissions or boards to appoint members of to any office or position under the supervision of such commission or board and then the next article to see if the town will vote to authorize any town board to appoint any member thereof to another officer officer position for the term provided by law if any otherwise for the term not to exceed one year and fix the salary and compensation in accordance with general law chapter 41 section 4a it's got to be Yep. Citizen petition to see if the town supports the refrigeration of the ice rink of the firehouse pavilion, and so we will explore funding through grants, private contributions, and town matching in kind support. And then the elections. The dates off on that for the, for the, for the last article. It says 2023. Perfect. I mean, not perfect, but good catch. <laughs> I'm sure I'm cheating. They're going to ask about what that ice rink is going to cost. Well, I it's the last. The I hope news. there was. I, I think on the last page of the monitoring news. I, did, I haven't gotten to the entire one. We just I got think, it. I think there was yeah. something about it in there. Is he going to be stupid in here? <laughs> <laughs> so changes will occur to debt service, potentially the snow and ice, salt and sand. But I don't want to push anything given everything going on. But if we can, if we find out that we can easily combine snow and ice, salt and sand in winter over time, mm -hmm. we'll probably do that. Okay. Donna called me at 10. <laughs> I had the phone turned up. I didn't say. Yeah, Donna, we're, yeah. So I'll call her back. You back. could, uh, maybe we could, do you want to, maybe we could call her. Do you want to call? What would, you were it, talking It's about, about uh, the, do you want to want to do it any, or do you want to do it to do any? If you want to talk about stipends, I can also go out and work on this a little bit. We'll talk about it. Works either yeah. way. You guys want to be here during that? I, I do have a quick question for her. Maybe if we can just hammer out of the way um, about the snow and ice salt and sand winter overtime. Okay. Um, and then I, and then I'll let you to the stipend discussion, but. Now is as good a time as ever, unless you'd rather not do it. It doesn't bother me. Call her next. Donna Brewer. 
Hi, Donna Brewer. It's Susan Cooper calling you back. Sorry, I was in a select board meeting and I'm still there, but I noticed that you had called. Um, so you're on speaker. <laughs> um, Hello. Hi, so we have two questions for you because we're working on the warrant. Uh, question number one, I turn it over to Justin to explain it. So Donna, we have two accounts that are kind of for winter, winter road maintenance that I believe both can, we can deficit spend both legally, which are, there's certain for snow and ice. well, there's snow and ice, salt and sand, and then there's a separate account called winter overtime. Okay. And I was wondering if we could combine them without running into any issues without being able to deficit spend them next year. Uh, yeah, there's no reason why you can't combine them. Okay. Uh, Four twenty. They're both number four twenty three. So it's snow and ice, salt and sand, and winter overtime. And I was just thinking of renaming them something like snow and ice and winter overtime or something, and then making them one hundred seventy two thousand five hundred. And just wanted to make sure that wouldn't prevent us, you know, the appearance that we're defunding one wouldn't prevent us from uh, deficit spending. So would you have any recommendations on how that should appear in the work? Could we just write combine or should we drop one down to zero and bump the other one to 172, 500? Uh, I would combine them by just having one article yeah. and you can deal with the rest of it in the motion, but the article just say, you know, uh, your usual kind of language to, uh, appropriate a sum of money for snow and ice, salt and sand, and overtime compensation for winter purposes um, it, it with it, the money to come from free cash. Or but can we just can we just change it right in the operating budget and not have another article? Can we just call it yeah. a name change yeah. essentially yeah. on the standing operating and, budget? And mm -hmm. should we drop Previously, I think we've been in the habit of, instead of just deleting an account off of the operating entirely, we drop it down to zero one year and take it off the next year if it gets voted down to zero. I think we just it, we just say there's a name change and combine the two. I, I don't see any reason why we have to put a zero and anywhere on there because the amount's not changing. Yeah. We're literally combining well, the I two just, things. I just want to confirm. How, but that I'm just suggesting how we do that and do not that. have a zero one. Well, legally, for some reason, we ha we're under the belief that we couldn't really combine accounts without dropping one to zero. And you can, it's probably different under accounting than under the legal rules for town meeting action. Yeah. So town meeting action, you can indeed combine them. You don't need to have a zero. It may be for the purposes of your accounting records, your accountant is going to want to show a specific line item account as, as one and as zero. But that would not, that, that would not be a requirement to check it. So could, it, could, the, could the line in the budget just be snow and ice, salt and sand, winter overtime, and we're requesting 172500 Which is the combined amount. And we don't have to say anything like we're renaming it or no. combining it. No, I actually prefer that because yeah. it does give you the flexibility to spend that 175000 among any of those categories. Yeah. If anybody asks, we can just say. Well, here's my only question, though. We showed last year's number. Mm -hmm. So what should we do about that as far as showing last year's number? Combine those two. Combine those two. You can. Because it'll, it'll just show the increase. Sorry. <laughs> or you can drop a note. On the, on the budget to show that now combined for FY25 as one number, you know, there are okay. ways, all you really are, are trying to do is get the information to the citizens as to what you're doing. Okay. And there doesn't need to be any specific format to do that. So you're saying basically we can propose any operating budget we want to town meeting with new lines and removing old lines without dropping them to zero? Okay, yeah. so that's just an accounting yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, we had a select board secretary position and an office assistant, and we want to 
combine them into one office assistant position. Can we just delete the select board secretary off of the thing entirely? Absolutely. Okay. So we'll probably do that. All right. That's very enlightening. Thank you. Very nice. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Second item, uh, I guess I'm up. So I dropped you a quick note about the stipend issue. And uh, I also have the one of the, the finance committee chair member here and Frank's here as well. So we want to hear your thoughts on double, any legal issues that might be extant or anything else you can offer about the concept. So it's not uncommon for towns that have called firefighter positions to offer stipends to certain officers. And that would be, you know, for example, the person who goes to, to, uh, to check out whether smoke detectors are working, you know, on the same right. house. We, we also have that fire inspection, right. yeah. Them are captains, one's the assistant chief, and one's yeah, the chief. But, but yeah, but the, that's the fire department. The fire, the oh, fire, that's the fire, the fire department. company. They're all, all four, I believe, are on the board of the fire, fire company. company. So that's where I think you get into the. But, 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 I, but I asked Sean, I asked Sean if you could be the president of the fire company and not be a captain. And he said, technically, yes, you could, but historically, they have. So, yeah, but I have to hold this back for a minute because it's still very confusing to me because we're currently doing that. We're paying them both as a fire department okay. and they're getting... No, we're paying know, them for really? stipends for when they do something, when they go out on a call or when they take the car, the fire... But we're the, paying that at the fire, we're paying it through the fire department or the fire... Fire department. department. Okay, okay. One no a, labor is paid through the fire company. Okay, one okay. other thing, Donna, though. You said that it's customary to pay them for compensation outside of answering calls. We're now discussing giving them compensation for answering calls. So no, we, we already pay them for doing calls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, 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 let me finish. We're asking to pay them for compensation to manage the fire department. Well, there are two proposals that I understand in the stipend. One is for answering weekday calls, and one is for the chief and the deputy chief to do administrative work so they're kind of that's why well, they call for more no it, it's all for those offices it's, it's the four mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for for which for and, answering no there it would be a flat stipend well the way i thought it wasn't flat well i mean it would be a stipend no matter how many calls they answer they would still get that stipend so it's not a per call basis. It, it's really, this is the I understand it's the, not per call. Yeah, but it, I thought it, it's it was really a salary. Doing is minute, that's bingo. Now it's you're a, going to where I want to go. It's, it's, really a, a salary. it's a salary. That's my So the, the tricky now part in here, Donna, is that <laughs> what, what's happening calls. is that um, the, the fire chief is working a lot of extra hours and uh, for just running the fire company and try to deal with training and recruiting and Re possible regionalization. On top of that, we have four firefighters, which are basically those four people that are answering like pretty much all of the daytime calls, which amounts to like 80 calls a year, plus or minus. 
which if you, you know, if you figure just at two hours a call, that's a whole month's worth of work hours. It's 160 hours, assuming the call is only two hours. Um, and they're just feeling really taxed by that. So that's what this evolved from. And, and the question is how we try to approach this. And we tried a bunch of different options and all of them seem to have problems. And there is this big question of <laughs> fire company or fire department. I don't really know where that line gets drawn. But the bottom line is, if this is what we're talking about, that basically this is compensation for their level of commitment to the fire department. Can we do it? No, this whether we should do it. No, is a separate question. Combining two things: one is for administrative work, and one is for calls. And I think those have to be separated because I understand the need to pay when you're losing, losing work and compensation for the calls during the day. But the administrative work, if they're a private fire thing and we don't pay salaries. You know, why aren't so they calories? So, then that we're doing whole, it. so we want to make it just about the daytime calls. Then we drop it to the same amount for all four of them. But we still even... have the question of can we do that? Correct. That's what I'm trying to So, so what, what what's it? Let's ask Donna, can we do that? Yeah, that's I can't give you the answer right now. It's got okay. a real ethical obligation. Yeah. Um, you know, complications in it. Plus, you know, we We've always struggled with the relationship, the informal relationship that has been going on for decades between the fire company and the fire department. Right. And, and it, it probably, frankly, in this phone conversation, I will tell you, it probably has not been done entirely in compliance with the law. Yeah. Yeah. And so we need to figure out if we're going to continue going into this murky legal area because on a practical level it works for us or do we want to get it strictly on the straight and narrow in which case we're going to need to redefine the relationship between the fire department and the fire company and the relationships of the officers and employees or the officers and the firefighters within the fire company and their relationship to the fire department because that's never really been clear to me i mean the fire <laughs> company leases the building to the fire department and the fire department keeps all of this equipment there that it owns but the personnel are all fire the company, company. We, we own the it's, it's really this this is roger mcdonald it, it's really kind of an odd mixture so yeah. I, I i i try to look at it really black and white there's the fire company and there's the fire department so the fire company is a group of people who've gotten together to make the fire company they have a president a vice president whatever they have over there for officers on the fire department side which is the, the public side there are individuals who we pay uh, a stipend to, a compensation for basically 50 bucks an hour, 40 bucks an hour, $125 overnight to do, to do things, which is separate, which are individuals that are separate from the individuals at the fire company, though they may be the same people. Okay. And, and so the issue, though, is that the, the, town, the town is now determined that we have that the town is not determined that we have a uh, we have a fire chief an assistant fire chief and two captains on the town side that's that's what we have and yeah. we're, we're giving those people a stipend so we're giving them us we're, we're, we're thinking about giving those people a stipend and i guess the issue is whether or not those people can also be officers or if they are officers right. or if because if because you're a president you are a captain or insistent you are a capital intent. So that, that's 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 really I think what well, the issue is. What would we have to do to make uh, it legal? Can we do the stipend? Can we increase their stipend per call that they would meet versus give them a flat wage? I, I, I think can we throw yeah, back but, again. Went, but it's right. a stipend. So you're only Donna has something she wants to say. Yeah. Can we let her say I see your point though, Frank. It's a good one. <laughs> I totally do. Yeah, so, so what I always State ethics law does not recognize 
that fine line distinction you're making between the department and the company. The state ethics law deals with the individual, and the individual in this case is filling two roles, one for the town and one for a private company. And that is absolutely what the state ethics law says you cannot have. Exactly. For certain positions. And one of the positions that is trouble, because as soon as they're getting a stipend from the town, they are considered an employee of the town for the purposes of the ethics law. And then as officers of the company, then they are in a position of control of a private entity that is getting a financial benefit through a contract with the town. So the ethics law is telling us that you can't do both. Now, there are lots of exceptions under the ethics law, and that's what I would want to look at if there is some way um, that we can get around this. For example, there is an exception for contracts of a private entity that predate when the person became a town employee. And they say, okay, if the contract that the private company worked for um, benefits from predates when you became a town employee, then we're going to let that go, just so long as the terms don't change. And that's a big if, or so long as. So those are the kinds of things I'd want to look into, which is why I really want to uh, get it set in writing. Here's the four people we're talking about giving a stipend to. Here are their positions in the department, and here are their positions in the company. And then I can give you a better answer. So, so, this, I'm sorry, so, so this only applies to, um, I guess, the, the management of the, so the, the mm -hmm. officer, so the officers on, in the fire department that are officers in the fire company. It doesn't, it doesn't apply to, it doesn't apply to just the, the, the person who is just a, a firefighter who comes in on a Saturday night. And he goes out for a call. It doesn't apply to them. Is that what you're talking about? You're only talking about. They have to they they have have both both can have a control position. They don't have a company control. They don't control the budget. Right. No, I'm just okay. So, to... Donna, this is Eileen, the chair of the finance committee. And you said something very important when we started this conversation. You said, we've been making it work. And we, you know, are you now saying we want to do it legally? And here's my concern. When we were giving them $30,000 and paying some stipends, I was okay to say this works, it's a small town, we have to stay flexible. We are now upwards of spending almost 20 to 25% of our non-mandated education expenses on the fire department. And that is what's really concerning me. This is no longer a loose relationship. We are paying some of these people more salaries and we're paying full-time employees. And I am very, very concerned, not just about grandfathering in, but the big problem we're having in recruitment, retention, volunteers, that we craft something that gives us a clear path for the future. So that's why, you know, I, I think, you know, that's why what you said, which way are we willing to go? I don't think it's a just let's look at the rules to see if these guys fit in. It's what should that relationship really be and how to, maybe it is a fire department. Maybe the volunteer fire department doesn't have a cause anymore. It did years ago. Maybe it really turns into something formal with on-call positions. Because I, I, you know, given risk and given, I hate to say this the way I'm about to say it, but given the, I, I know, because I live in a circle with a lot of non-second homeowners, Given the litigious nature of these people and how they think about things, I'm really not comfortable with this relationship. So, and, go ahead. Yeah, and no, to that end, I mean, just picking up on that, that's one of the reasons why we have been working on a lease. I know, I was, I was in those conversations. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I agree, but, but, but you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying, and I understand we're up against it, select board, that we are had the budget we wanted to go to bed on Wednesday, but I think this is still such a thorny issue that we really haven't, as we go in deeper, we keep on trying to put a Band-Aid on it, which is opening the wound, you know, we're finding new bleed points. So I'm really, and I agree, and the fact for me is we said this a year ago that we were doing these. It's a year later, we don't have a lead. And now we're talking about throwing more money at the problem, so they show up. And I'm not saying the guys aren't deserving. And I'm not saying they're not doing all the work. Saying, I get it. We have to figure this out on the bigger scale. And help them so. to be efficient, because it doesn't work that Jordan thinks he's doing everything.
So Donna, to start this process, should I get you both their fire department and the, the names of the people, their fire department uh, official names and their fire company yeah, official names? Yeah, positions? you can go on their website and it'll say officers. Right. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, you need to confirm that because that's old information. Uh, and you'd like to know? If they're getting paid by the I don't believe they are. Nobody yeah. gets paid by the fire company. Donna, if you look at their um, their papers, and I've sent them to Chris, I don't think the fire company can pay them. Okay. Uh, but Chris has, and I can forward you their corporate papers. Nobody, I remember it said something in there that nobody should financially benefit, benefit from this but, corporation. But they're a 501c3, the nonprofit. So do we have their last 1099? I've looked at, at them online and I've seen donations, but I've not seen anything about compensation. But if the papers say they can't be compensated? Uh, I, I'll send the corporate papers back out. I got right. it off one. So Frank will send you the corporate papers. I'll get you their official titles. Yeah. Um, and you'll let us know what you think. But it does sort of sound to me like we need a longer term solution. It's been on the lease a year later. How, how, I mean, how, this is a year ago we sat at this exact table and had the conversation about we need a lease. It's a year later and we don't have one. Yeah, but, but, but this is a separate issue and yeah. I don't want to waste on his time. Right. Yeah. Is that everything Thanks. you have for Donna? Tied in with everything. Okay. Thank you, Donna. Thank I will, you, Donna. I will get you Thank that you, by Donna. tonight. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, I just, I don't want to muddy the two waters. I see your point and I know they're connected, but in the meantime, I'm trying to figure out how their, their ask is about being adequately compensated for the lost work time. And I understand that point and I want to try to find a fix for at least that. Okay. So on that, here's my thinking and I did not discuss it with the rest of the finance committee. If it is for the lost work time, I don't understand why there's a differential between the positions. I think it should be. Uh, I think it should be flat for everyone. I think that differential speaks to the fact of getting compensated for other hours of administrative work. And if that's the case, I have severe concerns about paying that for the current administrative work we're getting without guidance, management, and other things because we don't seem to be getting what we need. So I have no problem with a flat rate to get them to cover the 80, you know, that seem to be consistent during work day, I don't know if 10,000 is the right number, I don't know if 8,000 is the right number. If there are 80 calls a year, right, the way I look at it, there are about 80 daily calls a year divided by 8,000, um, how much is my machine? It would be 8,000. So I don't, you know, so 10,000 might be right, 150 a call, but I would keep that consistent because that's not about your position, it's about your response during work day. That's, so I question that additional 15,000 and and, uh, and 10,000 more because that seems to be for administrative work, which I think deserves an entire different conversation. And I, I don't have any confidence in giving that money currently to get the work done that we need done. What else do we have on the agenda for today? I have no sense. Um, I can leave you mine and then I haven't tried to prove that right on the wall. So how about we trade the minutes and then come okay. back having read them? Yes. I, I have another meeting I would like to try to get to. Yeah. But what do you think about the ten the the donut screen? Well like you're suggesting I I I'm okay with it. Um you're thinking eight grand. I think ten is fine. I mean it's just that I don't think there's a difference between positions if well, it is a stipend. If that's what it's for. If it's a stipend for Daytime call daytime and call. not for a Yeah, I, I agree with that. And two is I think their stipend can be higher because if he's the chief, ultimately, the, you know, you have different levels. I see. You know, I don't think it's double. No, I, I, I'm not saying it's double. Right. But I can see where I'm the right. chief, you know, you get five hours an hour or more and then the next guy gets 250 or but, but they're not employees it's a stipend and it's a i know job, but it's, so still, I don't think it's still but if you had a massive fire the chief is going to be in charge yes but that's not what we're paying for them for we're not paying them for level of responsibility we're paying them for showing up so you have yeah, to decide what yeah, you're paying yeah, yeah but, but they're, they're showing up but also there's a they're, level they're of directly believe me higher. someone's in charge i'm not saying it's they're not in charge they're the ones that are making the 
Right, but they're doing that whether we're giving them a stipend for out of office time or not. Right. But that's what I'm trying to say, right? Like that, you have to, that's the, the tricky part. Either you're paying them for their time away from their business or you're paying them for their position. Make a decision. That's the that's where I see the ethics coming in. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, I have a yeah. I'm not saying okay. he's not doing more. I'm not no, saying no, he's I, not I working get you. hard. I I'm just saying that, like, when you're throwing sixty thousand dollars at a problem, when you know that's, well, like, that's we had the discussion last week. If you're paying them, you basically said you're paying them to manage. What's the job description? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. you can't say. So we know what that is, and that goes on the volunteer side on terms of their role as a department. So you can't stipend them for that. That's where the confusion. Is. That's the two masks. Well, yeah, unless you hire in the, that's my notes. Okay. I didn't prove to you that I had trouble with my printer between the printer and the bear. So can you email them to you? Yeah, well, between okay. the bear and the. Uh, so um, I asked uh, the accountant she's going to get me today for a uh, breakdown of all the firefighter, what they were paid, some of them a stipend, some of them a salary, some of them a call. Mm -hmm. So she's going to get me that. Okay. I don't know what that'll tell us, but. Yeah. I, I mean, we got to do some. I, I just don't know if it is at this point, you know, how to address it. But the only thing you could do is you could hire someone to be on the town to do the training. We didn't put anything in the budget. We put 50. Well, no, we haven't negotiated. Oh, we haven't negotiated. Okay. Well, we got to put something. No, I agree. I'm, I'm saying it's higher than the 30. Um, that's good. I'm, I'm sorry. Ready, we'll do. We'll be done with the joint meeting. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what joint meeting? Right? Um, do we? So, you have follow-up questions? I think we pretty much got through the warrant, right? Yeah. So, I thought we got through the warrant and the budget. So, but um, the compensation, that's as, far, as far as I'm concerned, we pretty much made it through the warrant and the budget. I have a copy of the warrant with the budget in it that's up to date. I'm going to send that out to everybody uh, in advance of tomorrow night's meeting. Not to be picky, you, but on the bottom of the warrant, it says the Monterey General Store. Did we still leave that there? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, the community center. That's fine. Well, the bylaws specify a few places, three places, and then there's others that aren't specified that we have in there. We can post it anywhere we want. No, but I know. We have to. Oh, so that was in the box. I don't know if the general store is required, but just because we get a lot of questions, when is it open? Okay. <laughs> right, that. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not it's a concern. Concern. one page. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think we made it for the warrant. The biggest change that we really made today was taking that money that was going to go from the principal um, Put it back on the medical and, and rush it and, and put it in against one hundred ninety thousand dollars. We also, yeah, we we fixed. The health insurance number and fix it through small dates. Yeah, and, not, and just moving forward, I thought that was so insightful what she said about this, this is for the town meeting and this is the accounting. And I think that's some of the strategic leadership and thinking you were looking for in a new town administrator. This is what makes sense to the town. This is what we need to do back in to track it. And splitting those things, I think, will really serve you well in the future. It will also be nice to not have to have the zeros on it. Right, that's what I'm saying. But I think that's are, very insight, very interesting. So I think we are. We will keep them for the select board secretary because it actually makes the numbers all match up when you have what was requested last year, this year. But we're combining the right. highways. But combine them, right? Yes. Can we please advertise for a select board? Well, for, I've been I've been session. talking to Roger okay. and saying let's let's get that together, and he's looked at some job descriptions okay. from neighboring towns. And did you get a date for the meeting for the briefing? No, I was looking at it. Okay, so we are think we're yeah. it's in process. So and if you need any feedback, feel have feel free to yes. worry by me. I'm happy to help. When is your meeting? Because I also have to go to the dentist, but I could spend a few minutes. Hammering out right. some minutes if that helps. It, it would be great if I could stay. Like I didn't think, yeah, I mean, okay. I can do another few minutes, but okay. Do we have a one that's short? short. Um, well, three six. Um, three I six. Thought we'd already done. It. We don't. You, you no, know, we haven't approved them yet. Okay. Um, right. you had made edits, but I wasn't ready. Um, 
Do you know what you're, so I the, one, the one thing that's tricky with these, Roger, is that um, if you just print them out, there's no way for us to look the edits were, so you kind of have I to see print so it. Yeah, but yeah, I, 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 I already looked, looked, looked at your edits, so I'm, okay. I'm good with them. Okay, and but I'm, I don't know what your edits were. I had one edit. Oh, please. Okay. Um, Yeah, and it's in here. Justin recused himself from the conversation due to a conflict of interest. Oh, that's fine. Item right, number four. Um, so. Okay. Let's. If that's it, I'm good with them. I, 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 I would just ask on a, like a technical reason, is why you write down the people who show up. You don't need to. Okay. I, I didn't think so either. I, just the board members, right? And actually, you do have right yeah, on the corner of the board members. mail slot. Did you go down the hall? There's a mail slot right on that mailbox. Oh, I thought you yeah, you can do it there. Or you can drop it right in the mailbox right there, too. Is that white mailbox? And I don't think they were written like that because yeah, Melissa used to, yeah, yeah, but Melissa always used to do that. Man. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Well, I'm not going to. I don't care. Consider. It's not yeah. worth changing this. The question would just be setting precedent for. I'm not uh, worried. Okay. Uh, if there's some inconsistency. Which is fine. Everybody, every time, yeah. Like, I usually do them this way. All right. So I'm going to move to approve the, the minutes of, of March 6th. As, as I'll second. Here. Second. Is there any discussion? We'll call a vote. Yes. Yes. And yeah, so they're, uh, they're approved. And um, can I get your signature? And then uh, I don't know. I just sent out just before the meeting the executive session minutes. There's a chance we can also approve those. Um, I can read them. Out. They're short enough, and then we'll get you on your way, Susan. But okay. um, it would and be I'll nice. Send out my electronic version. Yeah. So, um, why don't I just read them out? Select board executive session minutes, March 12, 2024, location town hall. Select board members, President Justin Mako, Susan Cooper, Frank Adams. A motion was made to enter executive session under purpose two to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for contract negotiations, negotiations with non union personnel, the town administrator, and to approve the 3 7 24 executive session minutes and not to reconvene an open meeting after the conclusion of the executive session. The motion was seconded and voted on Frank Yes, Susan, the executive session ended at 7 28 p.m. Do you have it? Yep, I have it. I'm just reading through. Why don't I give it to Frank, too? And then if we're good, if you have changes, just say you need changes in your time. Yeah. If you're good with it, we'll approve it, and then we'll be that much closer to where we need to be. Didn't we also, uh, we we agreed to have a kitchen time of career year, year, but we also put a cap on it, didn't we? We did in that final contract. Okay, but, but we not, didn't that, that that's meeting. right, that's right. Yeah, good question, good point. Well, I want to say thank you. Amazing, huh? Thank you, buddy. No, I mean it, you, you know, I'm giving you big pictures. Oh, please. It's beautiful. Looks good to me. Tell me when you're done, right? I'm done. It's good. All right. I Motion to approve the executive session minutes of March 12th. A second. Any discussion? We'll call a vote. Yes. yes. And yes, that's a unanimous approval. Oh. So that's actually good because yeah, you create a new set every time, so we got two done. We're good. We're a plus one. Right. Sorry about that. Um, so the way that this is going to work is I have to run one thing on the warrant by Donna, which is actually I have the wording for the biannual town meeting, but I have to clarify the warrant wording to change the bylaws, to add a new bylaw. I'm going to double check that we have all of the changes in that we need today. Okay. I'm going to send it to everyone clean. I meant to send it to everyone before, but it didn't happen. I'm going to send it to everyone clean. And then tomorrow we have that joint meeting of the finance committee at seven. Um, we could possibly sign things on Wednesday. Sign the warrant? Yeah. Probably this Wednesday. I was thinking next Tuesday. Okay. That works. Um, right. We're still well. That's still two and a half weeks. That's still two and a half weeks. Yeah. I think. 
I, I'm not yeah. going to disagree with you. Yeah. I think it's fine because I do think there's enough things sort of floating out there that make me nervous. So. Well, we're going to double check health insurance, but I think our number's really pretty good because look, at the end of the day, there's going to be turnover. People are going to change their, their plans. And so you're not going to have an exact number, but the number makes a lot of intuitive sense based on we had 156,000. And we went, the only change we've done is a couple to a single. So it dropped about 7,000. So the other thing is, I think we just need to understand how we built that budget. And I think that's the logic. Yeah. 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 So you move forward, you, you take your best information to tell us when we want it, something happens, you need somewhere we can go back. In the worksheet. Right. Yeah. yeah. I completely yeah. screwed that. I'm sorry. No, yeah. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I no. just said it's good sure. to see it's out there that you understand, you can easily understand it. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, we'll work on a letter. We'll work on a letter to go out with a warrant that will just not go too far into detail into the weeds about how this number was calculated based on this and that spreadsheet. But just say, okay, we're combining these two positions. We combine this line. The reason this number is up is because of this. The reason that number is down is of this. Right, but you're going to couch it into overall simplicity in terms. It's of not going to be 12 pages long with spreadsheets. It's going to be one page. That's what I'm saying. So you yeah. say, here's our goal. Here's what the select board's done. Right. This is why we're telling you these changes for simplification, for ease of accounting. Yeah. Like, give them your overall. I mean, it's a really good move you're making. You know, yeah. take credit for it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What What are your data about your presentation? We sent him the 16th or the 18th. Which now might be too. And it's all the way in spring. I mean, because the meeting yeah. hasn't changed. Well, before. Roger, it, it, I resent it to you. I sent it on the third. So. Our goal is to have the warrant side of the meeting. So before. I think that's very premature for a budget hearing. Mm -hmm. So do it the week next weekend. Yes. Good. All right. So any days. All right. So I'll work on your days. If not. Well, that's why I didn't know. If not, the week after that. because I was. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep on going back to the same thing. Do it, do it after, after the week. Do it after the week. Do it after the week. Do it after the week. Oh, the problem was it's Passover. Sounds good. And the 20 next question. Well, Don, I don't want you to do that. I leave. 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 Susan, yes. Oh, on the motion to adjourn. Yes. All right. Are you, you sure, Susan? Adjourn. Eleven seconds. Are you sure? I'm talking to him. So yes. And just send me any of the minutes you have from joint meetings so I can do my.